Thanks for tuning in to my comparison video. My name is Noni. I have been a Thermomix consultant since 2013 with a little break in between, but I have managed to have all three models that Australia has had available for sale. So these here are my three children. This one is the oldest one, the 2001 TM31. This one was on sale in Australia from 2001 to 2014. Then we have my next born, which is the TM5. This one was sold in Australia from 2014 onwards to 2019. And then we have the TM6. Now this one it has been out since around June in 2019 onwards. Because we have the software advance now, whenever updates and new features become available, they become easy to just do a software update on the appliance and then you have that new feature. So that's really cool. But what I wanted to take you through is the comparison of the three and how it has evolved. So you may be wondering about getting a Thermix for the first time and whether or not you want the brand new one or whether you can deal with the older ones for a cheaper price. So I'm going to compare them all. I'm really familiar with all of them. I've demonstrated all of them and I'm just going to highlight all the differences so that you can choose if you have one of these maybe and you're choosing whether to upgrade or you're just looking at all the models in comparison. To start with, let's compare the external features of all the different models. So the TM6 has a larger mixing bowl. This is 2.2 litres, where this is 2.2 litres as well. This was 2 litres. Basically inside the jugs, they all look the same. So I don't really need to show you. They all look like that. Just that this one is a bit bigger and obviously shinier and newer. Start with the measuring cup. So the measuring cup started like this little plastic cup that when you flipped the lid, it wasn't secure. So sometimes it would fly across the room if you whipped off the lid nice and quick. Then we went to a better design plastic, which had a nice little cover around it here. So it did stop more food coming off, but it still wasn't attached. So every time you take the lid off, you have to hold it or take it off first. Otherwise it will fly off. Also the plastic ones, they can get a bit discolored over time and they have been known to, if they get dro dropped on the floor, that they have cracked sometimes. So even though Thermomix always use a really high grade food safe plastic, it still wasn't as tough as what they've designed now. So they have actually created the measuring cup sticks in the lid now. It's a bit more secure. So I can whip the lid off and do whatever and it's not gonna fly out. And it just sits in there with some like little silicon, um, it's not really a clip, but it's just a little bit silicon flexible. So it'll stay there and it doesn't discolor and it's really strong and sturdy. Moving on to the lid itself. Now the TM6 and the TM5 have automatic locking lid. So as soon as you turn the dial, those arms come in and lock down and they open for you automatically. Exactly the same here with the TM6. Nice and close. And when the blades stop, it opens for you. With the TM31, you actually had to lock it into place for it to start. So you locked it in, it won't, the blades won't move unless that was locked in properly. And when you turn the blades down, you unlock the lid and lift it that way. So it's, def it's not automatically done for you. From the TM31, we had a seal that would come out. So this would come out and we would clean this as well. And it was like an extra part to clean. But with the TM5 and the TM6, the seal is built in here. So it's nice and strong and it doesn't come out and get in the way and get a bit annoying to clean. 
the t they got progressively quieter. So the TM31, I believe it's from the shape of it. So if we were to look at the back, the back is quite exposed here. Whereas in the other two models, they've got another casing around the back. So it's nice and snug. It kind of hugs it in both of these. So I believe that's contributed to them being quieter. So I don't know how they got the TM6 quieter than the TM5, but it's definitely, they've gotten progressively quieter, which is amazing and really handy if you are crushing nuts or making a sorbet with a kilo of ice or something that's generally a little bit noisy. It's only ever for a really short time, but it just makes it that little bit less aggressive on the ears. Now the basket has been improved. So where the basket on the TM5 and the TM31 both have, both look like this. The basket with the TM6 has been new and improved. Now they have a lid on. So, so that people don't overfill, it's got a nice little lid on it. So the basket's in there. So you've just finished doing some rice and you want to get the hook here, pull it all the way in, and then you can lift the basket out and you can check what's inside. That lid goes over the spatula. Now the spatula, the love this, the same as the measuring cup. It's been improved. It's just a small little thing, but it improves massively. So the hook the same, but this one is flexible. So the other one is really hard, which meant you weren't able to fully scrape out the contents on the inside very well. But this one has, it's still really strong and sturdy, but it's just got a little flexible edge. And that makes a huge difference when you're trying to get everything out. The TM31 is an insect proof. And there were some cases where cockroaches especially would get into the appliance from underneath. I know it's a bit gross, but Cockroaches would get into the Thermomix because they like that warm spot where there's probably some crumbs around and they just went all for it. Cockroaches could get in underneath and they chewed away some of the wiring and, and in problem areas with cockroaches, this was a problem for people. They had to get their machine fixed and they had to pay for that. So with the TM5 and the TM6, they have an insect guard now. It's impossible, like a mesh that nothing will be able to get in and that will not happen. With these two models, the TM31 and the TM5, there was also the possibility of having a spill inside. Maybe it wasn't in place properly or another member of the family just put it there without the blades being locked in and then someone else came along, wanted to make a smoothie or something, throw some milk or water, oil, anything, just starting to cook. And that was just going straight down into the motor of the Thermomix and could do some serious damage. And obviously those types of things are not covered by warranty because it's a user error. So with the TM6 though, they've actually made it spill proof. So there's something where the machine will not go. There's lots of sensors and technology in this one where it won't even let you get to that stage because it knows it's not all locked in and set properly, which is really handy. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk to you about the cooking methods that we have so and what each one can do because they got progressively better as it has the whole time. So with this one, the TM31, you could only cook in the way we call manual, manual cooking, which means you set the time, the temperature and the speed. So I'll just turn the machine on. You can see that we just have quite a, a simple screen. There's just four digital numbers across the top. Now we have here all of the temperature. All of these buttons along the side here are the temperature. So you were to choose the temperature, you were to set the time by going 
one minute, 32, like going all the way like this, bit painful. And we had the speed of the blades here. So once you've selected your time and your temperature, you choose the speed of the blades. And this meant that, yeah, you had to either be creating your own recipe or like knowing how to use the Thermomix for your own recipe, or you were following from a book, but you read the book and then you come back and you go, okay, I'll, I make that this time, like the book said, this temperature, this speed or whatever it might be. And it just meant that there was a lot more room for human error when you were doing this. So there was more space to mess it up a little bit and things getting a little bit messy. Features that you still had were reverse, which means all have that. There's a dough function, so a neat, nice kneading method. However, with the TM31, it tend to walk a little bit. So sometimes because it's all moving around, going one way then the other way, what would happen sometimes or could happen, had the possibility of happening, especially if it was too close to the edge of the bench, it would actually walk. So it could do this sometimes. It moved around a little bit, which is not, which is a bit scary when you've paid 2000 for a appliance that could walk itself off the bench and hit the floor while you're kneading some bread. Because the beauty of the Thermomix is you don't need to be anywhere near it while it's doing its thing. But when we were kneading, we would have to be near it. So that was a little bit of an inconvenience. Moving on to the TM5 and the TM6, they have a gyroscope inside. So it's actually really balanced and strong and it will not move at all. It's really when we moved up to the TM5, we got a thing called guided cooking. So it was another way to cook. And that was where you still can cook manually, select the time, the temperature and the speed. We have the screen now. It's a little bit of a step up from this screen. But what we would need to do is that every cookbook had a recipe chip. So this is like a USB of the cookbook and that would go on the side there. And once that went on, then all the recipes from that book were now loaded into the screen here. So that's just come up and I go and I search through and I find the recipe that I want and press start and it's going to guide me through step by step and tell me what I'm doing. The other option that came out a bit later on was what we called a cook key and the cook key was uh, another like USB, a bit bigger, I don't have one here with me sorry, it allowed you to store recipes on there from different books so it was almost like your own USB. So instead of having one chip for every book and collecting all of these recipe chips, you just had one cook key that went on the side and that was where you got online and you saved the recipes on there from the online store. It's not it was just connecting the website to your Thermomix and then you had to refresh. Once you put on there what you wanted to put on there, you would refresh and they would become available here. So you would go into the menu and I would go into that book. I would search either from A to Z or uh, category. So whichever you choose, then you had to scroll through here um, or you could choose, you know, your letters here going straight to it and choose from there. Once you were there, it would bring it up for you and you would hit start and it would tell you what to do. But you can see it's still a bit of a small screen to work with and there was some limited features there. Move on to the TM6 and we don't need the recipe chip. We don't need the cook key. We can cook manually, we can cook guided and there's lots of automatic functions built in here now. So instead of needing that cook key that you needed to uh, refresh and, and put on here, everything is totally accessible from the screen now. And because the screen is so much larger and easy to use, it's literally like using 
a mini iPad or a big phone. So simple to use. So have all of the functions that we did before, plus a shitload more really good ones. Able to access all the world's Thermomix recipes straight from the Thermomix itself, where you would just swipe here the screen because we have lots more um, lots more features, we have lots more screens that we can play with. So here, if you cannot see that, it says, hello, what would you like to cook today? And you can literally tap there. You're going to get a screen like a keyboard, like you would on a tablet, and you type in something that you want and you see the results. Go into the main menu and access all of those things that we've saved on our cookie do. Saved collections. This is where the whole books are saved. So if you like majority of the recipes in a certain book, you just save the whole book into the TM6. And then that way you can scroll through those recipes. So I have the basic cookbook because that comes preloaded into the TM6 and the, you get a physical book version as well. And then I've got plant to plate, which is a vegan book. And you know, there's quite a few really good ones on there. So I just have that saved so I can have a flick through. When we go to created collections, that is the playlists that we've created from single recipes that are across the 50 or so thousand recipes that you have access to. I go into created collections and I see I have all these different categories. So for created, nutritious and delicious i've created must tries so you know i'm flicking through the website and i see something that looks really cool and i'm trying not to get distracted because i'm there for another reason so i just pop it into must try and then all my things that i come across that i'm interested in are going to be in that category you can set it to smoothies dinners cocktails whatever it might be you create your own playlists and you sort through them Six is also hotter and they have been getting hotter. So this one would go up to about 114 degrees, I believe. This one went up to 120 and this one goes up to 160. So that opens up another opportunity for you to do more like sauteing where you've got, you're using a high heat to do the onions at the, as the first step. And it just opens up a lot more possibility. Like people can do honeycomb, they can do caramel. They do lots of things now with that high heat function. So you weren't able to do those things before, which means that you may have preferred to do something on the stove and then add it to the Thermomix. And it just meant that you were using another cooking method that you would then have to clean up afterwards where now it's even more user-friendly to be able to do everything in the one bowl. It has one gram increment scales. Now the TM31 and the TM5 would only go up in five gram increments, which meant if you were cooking, if you were adding something in that was really light, like a tablespoon of corn flour or some uh, dried mixed herbs or drizzling some oil, you could get a, quite an incorrect reading because it was only weighing five grams minimum. So if you were putting a spoon in and it was four grams, nothing would come up on the screen. And then you put another one, four grams and another one, four grams and nothing still happening, but yet you've put 12 grams in there. So you could be a bit off in your measurements and sometimes that doesn't matter. Bakers especially need things to be exact. So what they've done now is the TM6 weighs in one gram and it is so precise and accurate, it's incredible. You could be drizzling a little bit of oil in, which before if you were drizzling oil and it was one of those really fine nozzles on the olive oil bottle, for example, it wouldn't be reading it. Now you pour it in and you just watch it climb gram by gram and you get the exact same result every time. So you know that you're going to be making it perfect every time and it's going to work out. You threw 
the actual inner features, the software features, the functions that the TM6 have that the others don't. Explain just how much more you can do with the TM6. The screen better, let's have a look in all the features of the TM6. So you still have that manual screen where you can select the time, the temperature, and the speed and whichever circle is large with the touch screen the dial control so if i was to turn this right now the lid would come and lock on and it would get started this is the screen where we were the hello what would you like to cook today where you can search in for anything in the 50,000 recipes and building that they keep adding to and you can see it's a really easy screen to use so the TM31 had zero access to internet, the TM5 had access to internet, the TM6 is fully connected. So it only uses the Wi-Fi while it's on. When it's turned off, it's not sucking the Wi-Fi or the power. And it's just a really quick connected. So you activate your reverse there now. So you can see whichever one is under the blades is which way it will go. That's going to go blunt side. That's going to go sharp side. This way, we start to get all of the really cool features that we didn't have before. We did have the scales, the dough, and the turbo. We had those first three across all three Thermomix models. Then it gets interesting with all of the other ones that we have. So lots of automated functions which make life so much easier we've got pre-clean i absolutely love this one because that means when you finish cooking something you just hit the pre-clean it senses how dirty it is you just throw in some water about 500 grams of water drop or two a dishwashing liquid if you want to and then you just turn the dial and it will do its thing it says approximately five minutes it's only ever done it for like a maximum of a minute so this adjusts depending on how dirty the bowl is how cool is that and on turbo turbo on the TM 31 was a button that you push and it would be on turbo which is like pulse on a blender for as long as you had your finger down there and with this one the TM 5 and the TM 6 they have a preset way of you can choose one second half a second or two seconds so it's just a really controlled burst of the highest speed exit out of that one we have the kettle mode so you could heat up water as a kettle in any of them however this kettle mode at the time you just select the temperature that you want and the machine will do its thing until everything in the bowl is at the temperature that you set. So that is really cool for people who do not have microwaves to reheat their food. You just select out of that mode, we see blend. Now, the other two models can blend. Of course they could. But this is just now an automatic function. So you select, you just turn the dial and off it will go, it will blend. Whereas before you've got slow cook. Now slow cook is something that we never had with either of the models. This is brand new. Tell you exactly how to use the slow cooking function if you already know the recipe that you wanna use. What to do is put, you know, 800 grams of meat in there with the sauce and then away you go this can go for eight hours and you select the temperature and you you just hit start and it does its tm5 would only go for a maximum of two hours and the tm31 was like an hour and a half so this one has now way more set functions that you can use for longer periods of time so eight hours you choose the temperature and then you select and it will just do its Thing. really cool but there's also you know heaps of recipes that you can follow step by step if you don't know how to put something onto slow cook don't worry there's so many recipes that you can just follow and all of this will be set up for you every so you don't need to do any of that when you're following a recipe you just have to turn the dial and do exactly what it says now sous vide 
is where you are using uh, normally a protein, so think fish or meat, and it's in the cryvac, the vac seal bags. And that is cooked at a low temperature for a longer time to make it really tender. Uh, so we have that option now, which is amazing. And that's very chefy. A lot of chefs use that method to cook with and get a really good result. So you can do that right from your kitchen. Fermentation, again, it's a really up to 12 hours between 37 and 70 degrees. So this means that you could have some yogurts pot set in the Varoma doing the fermenting and you can have all of that at home. Yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, you can do lots of things with that function. Rice cooker is a really cool one because you just put the rice and the water in and then it's an automatic way. It uses the absorption method. So it's like the blades move a little bit to get things moving and to loosen the rice up and then they stop and it cooks rice as you would on a stove. You can also use the basket to steam rice. So there's a couple of different ways you can do rice now. And after that, we have thicken mode which is just uh, around about 12 minutes it takes to thicken the meal that's inside there. So how cool are all these functions? And what I find amazing is that when the, when the first batch of TM6s came out, the rice cooker and the thicken mode weren't on there. So that tells me that all this space on this page may eventually be filled up with other really cool functions as they come out because all we need to do now is a simple software update and they will become available. If you were to have a TM31 or a TM5, that's as far as it's gonna go. There's no other advancements from that. With the TM6, it can keep getting better and keep giving you more value for money over the years. Something I forgot to mention was that they have a new splash guard with the TM6. So with that, because we can use such high heat, it stops any possibility of splatter, but still lets the steam escape. So you know when you're sauteing or you're doing something at really high heat, you don't want to trap the moisture and the water in there. You want it to get out. So they've created this really cool splash guard now. So that's a quick rundown of the differences between the three models that we've had in Australia. The TM31 from 2001 to 2014, the TM5 from 2014 to 2019, the TM6 from 2019 to now. And with those software updates and the potential, I do not think there'll be another one coming out for a while. So that was 14 years, what, 13, 14 years, five years here, and who knows, with the technology that we have available to us now, anything is possible. And I have never been able to understand how they get better each time, but they just do. If you have a TM31 or a TM5 that you would like to upgrade to a TM6, I totally understand why. I had to do it as well as soon as I seen this. And the best option for you to do would be to get onto uh, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, or especially there is a Facebook group called Thermomix Australia Buy Swap Sell. That is just a group for purely buy sell swap all Thermomix stuff. So on there, that's where people post their models to, for sale so that they can take that cash and put it towards getting their TM6. So a quick note on the price, which is interesting. I feel like they would have gone up a lot more uh, in that time and with all the extra value, but they really haven't. So the TM31 was selling for 1939. Then the TM5 was selling for 2089. But then if you needed the cook key, that was an extra, say, I think it was around $150 or 170 or something like that to 250 around about that mark, give or take $20. And then the TM6 is 2269. So it's like $30 or something different 
to the TM5 with the cook key. And between the time of 2001 to 2019, I think that's a very reasonable small increase in cost. Plus, they've added more payment methods and more options, which means you can get the TM6 for a single payment, a three payment broken down into three parts over three months, which they did have available for these two as well. But they have now a, you can do PayPal, you can do a direct bank transfer, or you can have 24 months interest free. That's a permanent offer, 24 months interest free, which takes it down to about $24 a week if you were to take the two years to pay it off. And if you want to pay it off earlier, no fee to pay it out earlier. So I hope that helps give you a little bit of insight into the differences between all the models. If you do want one of these ones, you'll have to get it secondhand. If you want one of these ones and you're upgrading, you can sell yours or keep it. It'll still work for years and years. But if you want one of these and you don't have one or you want me to help you upgrade, I would love to help you. So just get in touch with me and you can ask me any questions that you like. I'll be happy to help in any way that I can. We have no borders anymore, so it doesn't matter whereabouts you are in Australia, we can help, we do things via video, you get that support from your consultant still. So wherever you are when you order, and wherever the consultant lives, you will still get the same support. We'll be doing video calls to give you a delivery briefing to make sure that you're fully confident to use the Thermomix. So once you order, the Thermomix arrives at your door and then we set up a time where we do a video and we, we go through all the ins and outs of the TM6, the things to look out for, all the features. We go into a lot more depth than what I just did. But if I can help in any way, I would love to. I would love to be your consultant. So shoot me a message or ask me any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening.